Hello, everybody, and welcome to the lost episode of Link SP. Today, I bring you footage found deep within the depths of my hard drive to compile this quote unquote episode. <laughs> uh, I don't know what exactly it is, but it's a it's an adventure, that's for sure. You'll also have to wait and see what I attempt to do this episode. Um, so in this, in, in this little intro, I just want to say a few things. Obviously, yes, this is the final episode of Link SP for the channel. For the, the future, um, there's been a few things going on with Link, uh, especially there on the SMP side. Uh, so what has been going on? Well, we did meet at PAX uh, about over a month ago, which was super awesome. That was one of the best things of 2020 so far. And it's just started. Who knows what 2020 is going to bring, man. But that's already a big contender for it's one of the coolest things that was just so fun. Um, not even the fact that I went to PAX, just that I got to hang out. Um, so yeah, in addition, uh, there was a Link SMP Season 2. So Season 2 was built a little differently. We tried to want, follow the style of SMP Live or SMP Earth in other ways. And uh, we mainly streamed it. And I actually did stream some Link SMP. I don't really advertise my stream on YouTube too much, but I implore you guys, please check out my Twitch if you are not followed. You don't have to sub, but follow, definitely, so you can get notified on when I'm live. I usually do every Friday or maybe weekends, whatever works out for me, just because of how my schedule's going so far at college. But yeah, so definitely check out my Twitch. I might be streaming some fun games. I've been playing a lot of GTFO on there, Monster Hunter World. Uh, and other fun things that might be coming soon. Um, but yeah, check that out. So there, w it was a streamed season of Link SMP. It was a, had a really interesting world generation. But again, it's just uh, SMPs are definitely a big commitment, and a lot of people need to be active. And I think just with all of our positions, it's going to be a little tight to get everything going. I was, I, I was decently chunked active on the SMP. Um, if you guys did not see, I built an actual underwater dome. It was one of the coolest things I've ever built. And maybe hoping hoping in the future I could actually continue that build of mine if I could get the world for it somehow. But I, I, that was really awesome to build. Uh, I won't show any footage, but um, I can just kind of let, send some links down below to some of my streams of Link. And especially uh, the Link uh, website, which takes you to the Discord. So the future is kind of unknown at the moment, but I implore you guys to check out the Link Discord. We'll mention all the new stuff coming if you're interested in me and the other content creators out there uh, in this little fun group we've got. Um, so yeah, definitely check that stuff out. As far as I go, uh, Minecraft. Um, it's definitely like I said in my previous SG, which you guys should go check out. I talk a lot about what the Minecraft future is holding. I'm still going to be doing some SG. Um, backplay is coming back out really soon. So I think I'm going to might do some more backplay stuff. Uh, the future of Minecraft has got some interesting stuff. Um, and the channel's got some interesting stuff coming. So you just got to wait and see. But for now, I'm going to let you guys have fun on this adventure that I uh, suffered through. <laughs> Enjoy. All right, buddy. I think it's time we finally begin the amazing quest. What, what am I doing here? Why did I think this was a good idea? I'm stuck. Ugh. All right, that's better. All right, everybody, welcome back to Link SMP. My name is Clean Feller Zach. Hope you all are doing well today. I'm on the PC, finally getting an episode uh, of this. As I am back at you know college, I should have maybe a, already uploaded a SG talking about it or whatever. Uh, but it's been a little bit from the SMP, not too much uh, additional work. Again, I record a ton of actually record a ton of footage of Lake SMP, but n not all of it is always uploaded. So I'm wondering what kind of uh, updates you may uh, guys have not been aware about, but uh, mostly uh, everything's accounted for. Uh, I don't think the turtle turtles are new. I've been breeding turtles for uh, turtle shells. That's been kind of fun. Um, I started a uh, both a furnace room, which is down here. So here you are. 
furnace room very nicely. Uh, and you just do a bit of this. Boop, and close it up. See, uh, furnaces are disconnected from everywhere else because uh, if I have new villagers, they might get attracted to those smokers of blast furnaces and become a, you know, a class I don't want them to be. So um, I have it separated off. As well as brewing strands, which I separate this way. If I do a little bit of this, and I go underneath the village. And I can go ahead and mine up some stuff for my own brewing stuff. Even though most of the time, I just uh, check out Joey for his excellent pot shop. So, that's all fun and dandy. But let's get into it. Let's just get into the meat of the stuff. You know, there's a few other things maybe I could show you. Villagers are doing well, as always. Mine's doing well. Nothing too big to the base. Maybe this is new as well, a zombie XP farm. I discovered recently that there is actually a zombie farm under a zombie farm. Yeah spawner underneath my base uh, did a ton of work clearing out the caves and you know like blocking them all up individually so there's no empty uh, spaces in there but it's a nice uh, area I can head up here do a little bit of shifting and I just check out how the spawners going it's doing well I think um, so yeah I just do it to uh, get my stuff repaired if I don't want to go to like the enderman farm in the end or the skeleton farm uh, also, I have a cool little system. This is especially why I'm still here. I'm still doing it here because I have a cool system to filter everything through. So, pretty cool stuff. But again, don't want to talk about that too much. We've got a big thing ahead of us. Something I've been very excited to do. <sighs> Gotta breathe because this is gonna be a fun little take, and I separated a good amount of time to get this done. So over. So if you guys have been paying attention to Link SAP in the sense that you've been watching other members, maybe it's particularly on live streams, you've been noticed there's a little, been a little bit of a thing going on with achievements. A lot of people on this SMP are new to 1.14, and the best way to get into it is by doing some achievements. You know, these guys, the advancements, very fun stuff. So, uh, and one member specifically, Garrett, came on the server when he he started a little bit later than everyone else. But he was like, I just want to, you know. Check out the new stuff, and I'll just get all the achievements, because it might be fun. And what he did not realize is that he planted a little seed that would blow out of proportion. And immediately, I was like, you know what? That's a great idea. So, because I was had way more time to do stuff, I immediately went uh, to go get all the achievements when I wasn't doing anything. Um, you know, because I already had a good amount of stuff going so I was like, I got nothing to do. So I went for him. You know, start a little bit of a friendly competition to get all the achievements. Maybe not a competition anymore because every everyone's kind of pretty close to finishing. But it's been, it's been kind of a fun thing. I'll probably not do it for every season. Uh, but I think just for the first season, I definitely want to get everything out of the way. And... Uh, I mean everything, but I'll ch you could check here, and it's like, okay, well, Minecraft's pretty good. Husbandry, this was a fun one to get all the animals and cats, which you can see are all, all over here very nicely. They are so annoying, I have to turn on my sound all the time. And then, you know, when Nether, not too bad. I mean, at the end, I mean, the end's perfect. And then the adventure, yeah, took a bit to get the biome in one, but... What do you mean? You were already done. No, I am not. See, because Mojang had an achievement in 1.12 in the game when the game uh, when this new achievement system came around, and they implemented an achievement that was so difficult, they decided to keep it hidden from the rest of the advancements because they decided they didn't want to scare people away. I guess I don't know. Anyways, yes, there is a secret achievement in Minecraft. It is past this one, the Furious Cocktail. Have every potion effect apply at the same time. It is after this one because it goes on to this. Basically, instead of having every potion effect, you need to have every status effect that you can get. The potion one wasn't actually too bad. You know, you just drink some potions, you know, maybe have a beacon to get to give you jump boost or whatever, maybe eat a gapple or a puffer fish, and you're good to go. Uh, so that's just a lot of potion drinking and stuff. This is where it turns up to 11. Let me get the list out for you guys. All right, so I got a list for you guys. The potion effects. Let's start off there. We have fire resistance, invisibility, jump boost, night vision, poison, 
regeneration, resistance, slow falling, slowness, speed, strength, water breathing, and weakness. There's a lot, but it's not that too bad because you can make potions out of all of them, like I've been doing in here. Uh, it's not nothing impossible. Thank you, villagers, for doing that. You know, turtle master, leaping, water breathing, slow falling, fire resistance, you know, all that stuff is there. Uh, so that's the original 13 for this one. But oh, we're not done there. We've only just started. How about absorption, blindness, hunger, and nausea? While you can't get those from pufferfish, and while I did say eat it, for, I, you could eat it for the achievement, that's actually not needed. So these are all additional food effects. You know, nausea, hunger, blindness, absorption. So absorption is not one, but you get it by eating a golden apple. You got super resistance and um, uh, regeneration, which is why you might as well just eat the gapple for the 13. But the absorption one doesn't count. It counts for this one, though. Let's keep going, though. That's only 17. How about item effects? How about conduit power, glowing, and haste? which is haste is exclusive to a beacon, whereas jump boost you get a potion or a beacon. Um, glowing is with a spectral arrow and conduit power is with a conduit, which I have been selling in my zoo, so it's nothing out of the ordinary for me. Um, so you're like, okay, nothing too crazy. Just gotta get all these things together. Then this is where it turns into insanity because these last six make it go from pretty difficult, pretty challenging, to the worst thing I've ever played. The last six effects are all mob effects, and they consist of Bad Omen, Hero of the Village, so the two pillager ones, Dolphin's Grace, which is a four-second effect, which lasts from you being in contact with a dolphin. How about Wither from the Wither? I mean, uh, duh. How about Levitation from a Shulker and Mining Fatigue from an Elder Guardian? Yeah, that is uh, that is insanity. And some of these don't last very long, specifically Dawson Grace. Before 1.13, uh, getting the uh, achievement was actually not too bad. You could do it pretty much anywhere. And most people just decided they would do it kind of based on a timer. You'd get... Um, uh, mining fatigue from the uh, elder guardian and you just run to the end and get levitation and wither from just spawning a wither and getting hit by a shulker but now we've now now we're doing something crazy here because dolphin's grace only lasts for four seconds which means we need everything in the same spot at one time and pretty much the only spot you're going to do this in is the ocean so great now we have to do this so it's going to be a fun achievement, and I'm going to um, basically just take you guys through it and kind of, you know, go through my progress of getting this one done because it is far and far in the way the craziest achievement ever. And oh, we're doing it! Can you get off the chest, please? Thank you. I don't even think I need any of this, but we'll take some. Any we'll take some of this stuff anyway. All right. Well. I think we should get started somehow. So how do you get started with something like this? An achievement so insane. I don't think I need any of that. Um, oh, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I'll first, I'll show you what I've got. So let's just go ahead and have a little bit of a ride, shall we? The first step we're going to have to do is uh, head to an area where I can actually get all stuff going. Hello, zombie pigman. Um, can you move for a sec? I'm trying to... I'm trying to get past you here. Can you just, uh, thank you. <laughs> You're like, what? Yeah, so, I've never actually, don't think I've actually ever showed this on my, uh, on my videos before. This has been kind of a secret project I've done, uh, I did quite a while ago, but I've never really felt confident in because it was just so new to the game, but I just thought, hey, I'll give it a try, so, um, it is a pillager farm. Now it's super interesting how these guys work because you need a villager to attract them, but you also need uh, different ways to uh, kill them essentially because you have ravengers which are giant beasts and then you have the tiny vex which are like 
tinier than a block, and then you have normal pillagers and vexes and not vexes, um, illagers, just you know, the vindicators and the evokers and stuff like that. So, uh, I should have brought more food with me. That's all right. Um, we should have some food down here. So, uh, I went ahead on my trip back from the woodland mansion. I actually skipped past this. Uh, it was a uh, outpost. And I really wanted to find one actually because I wanted to, you know, play around with it. Uh, because even when you destroy a pillager outpost, the um, the spawning does not change. So they will constantly spawn no matter what is there because it's just deemed to be a pillager. It's basically like a pillager chunk. So I took the pillager outpost and turned it into this. This little insanity combination of a trap here so ravagers oh hello what's up boy so let's just you know give him a little bit of punch um I'll head down there fall about 40 blocks and then we can kill him ravagers on the other hand will get stuck in the lava and just you know die asleep and then vexes will actually get caught in um boats because while they go to try to catch the villager They'll get stuck in all these boats that I have set for them. And basically what happens is... Here, I'll show you. There you are. A, oh, a nice arrow shot there. Down you go. When there's a raid, when I get the bad omen effect from one of the uh, captains, because he will spawn here eventually, a raid will get started because I actually have a villager. Right there. So, I can, uh, all the raiders will come, the ravagers will die, and then everything else will uh, fall down here. I can collect their loot, you know, tones of undying, emeralds, stuff like that. And that's how I kind of get my little bit of supply of totems while I'm dying. Kind of a fun thing, but again, I don't know if it's 100% efficient. I basically just saw a map build of it and just went for it. Um, but this, this is going to be an easy way to get a uh, bad omen here at the village. Um, now they aren't, la they don't last forever, but they do last a good amount. Now let's go check out, uh, the other thing I wanted to show. Let's head on over. Aha, uh -huh, here we are, baby. A ocean monument. What? 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 Boom. Oh. Alright. Now again, I'm always, I've always, I think I've said on the channel before, I don't like guardians or ocean monuments they just kind of suck overall also i'm, I'm terrified of they're just annoying thank you for that um no they they literally are like the bane of my existence so i will actively try to kill them um because they just are pains to deal with uh, but I have to keep these guys the elders alive because they give me the mining fatigue effect so exciting stuff isn't it so here's here's the plan here so there is an motion monument near Alex's base which isn't too far but I know there's boats and stuff near it so I didn't want to you know take advantage of stuff like that anyways so Life just sucks being here. Anyway, so I have all the potion effects ready. I went ahead and get that part done because it wasn't too needed. I got all the food effects here. Uh, this is the food I need to eat. Then I have the um, spectral arrows, the conduits, glass, um, to build kind of the platform where I'm gonna be. So I've actually got most of the stuff here. And all that's missing are the mobs. <sighs> Exciting stuff. So, I uh, just kind of want to show this, because uh, I'll be going back and forth between this area, so I wanted to let you know where it was. Uh, but now that we've done that, I should probably clean up this kelp. So give me a sec. So, um, I'll be using this little farm here to get to the here of the village, and bad omen. Then I'll, uh, you know, do what I need to do to get everything else. Not too shabby. Um, so let's get started on what we 
need to get. This is also why I hate uh, Elder Guardians. Alright, step one, we need to kill the Wither. That's right. Now usually you do this in a confined environment, not just in the broad plains biome, but I actually need it to be in the plains biome surrounded by a few animals so I can get a special item that I'll use. So here we go. Wah! I spawned it up there so when it explodes it wouldn't... Um... Alright, Bunny, you have to go that way. You have to go sacrifice yourself uh, to the Wither. So the Wither will attack any animals and then we'll hopefully leave behind. There we are. Oh. I need... Yes, I got it. Okay. Alright, so that should be alright now. Okay, so now that it's killed a few pigs, I need it to... I need to get its attention. Alright, come here. I should eat food, by the way. I should do that. Uh... <laughs> oh. I've had enough of you. Ah. I don't like this. All right, let's go ahead and drink a little potion here. All right, and just wail in to him. What an adventure. Uh, we've got a potion there. All right, well, we've definitely left a bit of a hole or two. Uh, I can clean it up, so. In the end, uh, we came for these babies, a wither rose. So once an animal is killed by the wither, that is what's dropped. Uh, a rabbit was killed, but I don't think dropped one. That's all right. All right, let me clean this up real quick. And just like that, the weather was never here. And now there was I. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, okay. All right, let's do a little bit of stuff. While we get ready for this, we'll go ahead and put for now the wither rose in here. Uh, but we need the nether star though, so we'll actually go ahead, uh, I was cooking up some glass, because, uh, I put all the glass at the area, and I actually need all this. Now I'll go ahead and put some coal back in there, so let's just make it eight again. Uh, eight. Uh, there we go. Cool. Okay. So we get... Uh, got an extra bit of glass, which is always very nice, but now we can go ahead and make ourselves the required beacon. There we go. For said haste. I mean, I could take that one, but come on now. I had the wither. I got the wither star. Might as well make something out of it, so we'll leave that in there for now. Along with you. Uh, okay. So the next few steps to get prepared is uh, to make a lot of boats and invis potions. Kind of weird, but we need a lot of weird stuff. So don't blame me, just blame the game for having a weird mechanic about this. So there we go, boats. And we also need a few pistons and a bunch of blocks. So we'll go ahead and get a bunch of endstone blocks here. And we'll make a bunch of pistons. There's one, but that's not enough. We need like a hundred thousand. So let's just go. And booyah. Now we're good. Whew. Lovers, pistons, boats. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Do -do -do -ah. Bam and bam and bop and bam. And boop and bop. I don't know. <laughs> What am I even saying anymore? I don't really know. I've just been chilling, going back and forth between so many different things, wondering, it, will it be enough? You know, I keep, it, I keep telling myself I hope it will be, it should be. It's the famous last, last words though. Um, okay. Alrighty, boys. We got ourselves some invis. So you're probably wondering what the heck am I doing with invis when I already have invis? Well, this isn't 
for the, this isn't for, you know, just getting the achievement. Well, I mean, it is, but it's not for the actual potions. It's for the shulker. So, we need to head to the end, right? We need to get ourselves a, uh, we need to get ourselves a shulker. We need to somehow get a shulker back to this place. It's kind of a wild adventure, so I'm a little nervous for it. I mean, I'll be honest, uh, but I think it should work well, considering the fact that I just be careful and not be dumb uh, and stupid about this. Don't be dumb and stupid. There you go. Or to live by, definitely. This man's been here. He's just gonna be there forever. Okay. That's chill with me. That is okay with me. Okay. Here we are. The end. Super fun. Super, you know, exciting. What a great place to be. Uh, so I don't think there's been any updates for uh, the actual number of portals that have been created. But, you know. We haven't done too much here, so um, I'm trying to remember. I wanted to do this at a good time because uh, if I did it too late, then um, I wouldn't have any end cities nearby where I could steal myself a shulker. Um, so I wanted to do this at a good time, and I think now is a good time before you know people like Joey is capitalizing on the uh, Elytra and shulker box um, shop, so he's probably just going to clear out anything he sees. But I need a shulker for me, so you know that's why uh, I'm looking around, seeing if, seeing what's the uh, good way to go. I don't think anywhere that way is good because that was when we first discovered the uh, end cities. We, I think it was that one or that one, one of those two. Um, so these are more recent ones, these two, uh, and just these other ones that I've uh, strung about. I think there's a total of what, eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven. Uh, so yeah, seven's not, you know, I think you can get a maximum of like 20, so it's not too bad. Um, all right, boys, I believe we're good to go. So I think the first step is just simply find a relatively unexplored end uh, city. Now, I've done a bit exploring on a lot of these, so it's kind of difficult to say, but I think this one is a relatively uh, good one to explore. Because um, I did go into this one um, simply because it was in the opposite direction of the other three, the first three that spawned. Uh, I think I needed an end of pearl. But, you know. So, I'm gonna go ahead, get myself in here. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and, you know, put some stuff away. I probably should put some stuff away. Why did I bring the beacon and all that stuff with me? Oh yeah, now I remember. Uh, here, let's do some stuff real quick. Let's go ahead. Uh, what do we not need with us right now? Let's just put you away. Since I'm gonna be flying, let's put this guy away. Put the shovel and the ax and you know, we have the shield, so that's cool, I guess. We don't really need it, though. We'll put the bed away, milk uh, buckets. Uh, we'll keep water buckets on me just in case. Torches, don't need too much of. Um, do need blocks, we don't need a bow. Um, we don't even really need a sword, so let's put that away as well. Just in case the inevitable demise happens which hasn't happened to me yet, but I'm always cautious. You never know. So we'll go ahead, put you in here, and we'll take you with me, and we'll just go ahead and take you like that. There we are. Now we go ahead, teleport ourselves. I think this is a bit of a sketchy one, so we need to be a little careful. Whoa. Yep, it's a sketchy one. I remember. <laughs> okay, so... I remember doing a bit of exploring uh, 
on uh, this one before. So a f kind of interesting system I did is uh, on every kind of a mound on an end city island, I put this little torch thing here with the end stone blocks on it. Just a little tiny little light showing me where I've been. So um, not too shabby. So I think what we just want to do, trap some chunks. We I mean, just got to go on an exploration um, because that way we can find it. I haven't really done, uh, you know, flying around in the end city before. It's a little spooky, but I think we should be able to get it gun, get it going. What? Wow. Okay. Simple as that. Now we just kind of go on an exploration. Kind of just have some fun with it, you know. And again, it's always an oof to kind of wonder, you know, where aware could I like you know someone have not been yet it's always a interesting scenario I probably should have memorized the chords of that thing uh, I usually can find one so wait let's see if I could find one. I think there's one over here yes all right press F2 there just in case all hope is lost we have ourselves uh, one we can go back to but for now we just kind of Kinda gotta ex start exploring. I think once the uh, torches stop, I have not explored that because I think for the time I did actually explore this area, I did a good amount of uh, putting those torches there. So, you know, really good for tracking where I've been and where I haven't been because you can get so lost in here so easily. It's kind of like, why must this happen to me? You know what else I wish did happen to me? I wish the end like loaded in faster. <laughs> like, why does it just take so long to load in? Like, I get it, you know? New chunks or something, but you're not loading in too much. You're loading in like little islands. Oh, that didn't do much. And sometimes I don't even know if it's loaded in or it's just that is actually the void, just nothing. So, so while we're exploring, you know, keep 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 an eye on anything, anything out of the ordinary. Uh, end gates would be awesome to find because then we, it would make the trip a lot shorter. Um, you know, if I found an end city that was right next to one, then that'd be pretty up awesome. So. Oh, has this been explored or has this not been explored? I am unsure. Oh, it looks like an unexplored. Uh, yep, that is Airy R, but this is actually pretty cool. It's got an elytra and everything, so that's actually awesome. Um, I mean, actually, if we want, we could do a little bit of a check out, check it out area, you know, check a little bit of a. Come on, <laughs> come on. What, what, there we are. Hey, what's up guys? You guys cool? Uh, maybe come in. Maybe let's go, we can go ahead if we want and get uh, maybe a sword going. Even if it's, we don't need it. Might be not a bad idea to have. Hello. Well, that's a nice chest. These chests are awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't really ruin it too much. But yeah, we got tons of shulkers right in here. So go ahead and head up here. Um, I didn't see the end gates. You know, which is, you know, not the... It's not the worst thing in the world, but it would like one. Oh, there we are. Sometimes you gotta... Get that jump going. What? Ow. So even if I did, I still have a good amount of um, stuff going for it. Uh, I don't think there's any chests in here, is there? Uh. No, it looks good to me. Okay. This is very cool. We'll also go ahead and check out uh, 
the ship. Do a little bit of a, you know, nice little landing area. Ooh. Ooh. Ow, hit my face. All right, we're fine. Uh, instant health, very cool. Okay, now, I won't be taking you, because why would I do that? But hey, I got some cool stuff. Oh, I just gotta love it. Uh, thank you for the elytra. Um, okay. Should we take the N-Rods too? Yes, take the N-Rods. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, I love N-Rods. They're just so pretty looking. I don't know about you. N-Rods are like such a cool looking block. You can't you block these things? Oh, oh gosh. Oh, there we go. There we are. Okay. Gotta do a little bit of a mine in this way to get to you. Hey, what's up? Don't mind if I. Oh, come on now. We're, we're chill. We're chill, bro. I'd like this head, please. I don't know if it breaks if, uh, I don't know. We'll just do this just to be safe. Ha ha ha. I want this. And now I have it. Cool. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to try to find myself a, uh, end gate. Uh, it might not be impo it might be impossible, and I'll just have to, you know, do it the old-fashioned way. Oh, hello, this guy's angry with me. Eh, it's fine. Okay. What? What? There we go. So I want to attempt. Is he still after me? Oh yeah, he's gonna keep following me. Even if I do this, ha ha ha. Maybe. Oh yeah. I never are like always angry. They just teleport. If they're ever, if you ever get out of their distance, they'll just teleport to you. It's fine. So I think, even if you know, um, is the angry guy still here? No. I think that that time I really got him out. Um. So we need to make note actually of that uh, end city. Because uh, it is very important to, that we keep this entity safe in our distance so that we never lose sight. So, do a quick flyby snapshot. Boop. There you go. And we did a perfect circle back to here. Awesome. Oh my gosh, okay. So it looks like there's nothing worth that way. So we'll try over here, maybe. What? Oh, it's another one? Hello? I didn't ask for there to be another end city like two blocks away from... What the crap is going on? Yeah, it's another, it's another one. Whenever, you know, you never you feel like DJ Khaled, it's like he's like, an, he's always like another one. That's kind of what I feel like right now. Hello. Please don't block my shield. Now we head down here, get more instant health. Seriously, okay. That's amazing. Okay. Helmet. Another helmet. Another pair of elytra. You know, stuff's crazy like that. You know, you just kind of life. You live life on the edge, and then stuff like that happens. So maybe I'll give these. So this is a different end city. Maybe I'll give these cords to someone, just in case they want to. That's what I'm telling you. So no one really explore that kind of that kind of area with the no end gates or near. This is a giant, a massive one. This is awesome. Okay, well I won't be doing too much exploring. Like I said, I've got another challenge ahead of me, but. Holy crap, I got, you know, stuff is going crazy now. So uh, let's put all this away, I guess. Uh, yeah, sure. 
Uh, helmet, pots, yeah. Team's good with me. Okay. So, that's that, that's for sure. Uh, so, we'll keep this end city in touch. I don't, is it closer? I don't even know if it's closer. I'll have to do some uh, some expertise on whether or not it's closer. Take out my shield. Uh, but really what I'm hoping is just we have an end gate nearby. Now, I haven't done too much research. I've watched a video or two, so, of, you know, how to get a, uh, a shulker back to the overworld. And there's all, it's, it's all kind of the similar method of getting a boat, basically. That's what the key is, getting a boat, and then pushing it with a piston when it's in block form. So, shulkers are a bit interesting, because they're both, like, a block. They take up a block. You can stand on them and stuff, but they also are an entity. It's kind of interesting how they work. Um, so, I don't think there's any end gates this way. There's not. Let's just not bother. The goal of this is not to go outward more. We want to go inward. So, we want to head in this direction. So, we want to head past the end city here, which was somewhere. Okay, so this was, uh, I remember this area. This was like that weird outcropping. So I think there was an end gate over here. Uh, again, I think I did explore a bit of this area. I don't know where my torches are, but if I did explore here, my torches would be here. That's just... Oh, that's just what I'm going on, you know? Okay, so yeah. This is where I stopped exploring. Obviously, I should have because there was some freaking amazing stuff over there, but... Um, still. It's... In the end, it's alright. So I think there should be some kind of end gate around here. I don't... I could look at my... You know, could just go look at my, uh... My screenshots. I don't really want to. Again, I probably just work. So I think I should be able to figure it out. There we are. Whoa. Okay. This is an this is a good end gate. Right here. Alright, so let's do some calculations here on uh we take a look at our screenshots. Uh, so this is the one that I screenshotted, uh, the one I flew over. So, let's see, we have two end cities, both of which are pretty far away. Uh, let's see which one's closer. Alright, so, let's enter some legs here. So, we have 1942, and, so we have 1018, and 1942, because that's 2192. For this other one, we have uh, 1636, and... Uh, 17. That's 2192. That is 2144. Wow, they're actually really close to each other. In comparison to this end gate, they are. It's not far. Uh, it's not. It's it's pretty close, which kind of sucks. I, I just wish there was a closer one. I could do a bit more exploring, but you know. So I think we'll do a little bit more exploring, just because um, I just wish there was more. Um, just you know, maybe something out there. We'll we'll try for it. I think you know, it's it's never it's never a, a bad idea to try. Um, so we'll do a bit more exploring this way. So I did go out here. But I think I did just kind of end it some point uh, let's just do that yeah so I didn't do any exploration this way so this is all new territory again it's never a bad idea to try to find new territory and you know what I wish I you could get you could get like some kind of end, end map you know because the it's so confusing to navigate the end oh another end gate Okay, grab a screenshot of that. That's not too bad. I mean, it may be closer to the 
second one, I don't know. We'll fit to figure it out, but you know. I'm just waiting. Come on, let's just be lucky here. Let's just have another end city pop up right next to that gate. Um, that would be amazing. Please, game, come on. Oh, hey, I did find one. Awesome. Uh, it's not of a ha it's not a, as happy as a as well as I thought because I don't know actually how close it is to the end gate because I did do a ton of ex of uh, checking around. You know, it'd never be too bad to look for some kind of end gate. You know, like again. You gotta keep looking for the main gates, and you're like, why are there no end gates here? I'm trying to find some end gates. But yeah, that's not bad at all, so. I will take it. Uh, let's see, let's do a bit of. Ex let's, just, let's, go let's just go dead south for a second while I look around here. Uh, 47. Okay, just be a little careful. I don't see anything, so let's just head there, and we can do some, uh, we can, we can collect our thoughts. So this is, is actually over a thousand blocks closer, uh, in the end. So, I actually, this is a good one. This is a good one to do our, uh, our thing. So, what we want is we want a boat ride with a shulker all the way back. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Um... I don't know what your definition of fun is, but maybe it's not this. So what we need to do is first we need to head to 1785. Um, so we'll, here's what we'll do. We'll do a bit of, oh, that's kind of dangerous. Let's do that. So once we grab the shulker and the, bo the boat, we'll head this way. And then we'll do a bit of this platform to here. And then we'll do a bit of a this okay actually just in case so we have an inevitable fall uh we'll be ready because we have uh rockets in our other hand so let's be careful about this let's just chill out guys let's do a bit of connecting here so then we can ride the boat this way okay we'll mine up some more blocks as well do a bit of you know, boating this way. Okay. How much more can we boat this way? I'm just trying not to have to make another bridge. You know, trying to s s keep level as much as we can here. So the only problem is our we need keep, we need to make our Y go up a ton. All right, not our Y, our X. We need to make our X go up. Okay. Do a bit of stuff here, then we immediately turn left. We'll do a bit of it going this way. Just trying to map it all out. Do a bit of going this way. Okay. Alright, then you head this way. Okay. Then we're just gonna have to dig through is okay I expected for us to have to do this and now we're here now we are here or what how should we do this do we do this way instead because we still need to get to negative 1725 this going a bit of this keep on moving and grooving so we're just about in range I think no, we're still 500 blocks off in the uh, what should we call it? The X. Okay, so our uh, X is good. Our Z is good. Now we just need to head in the Y. Is that does that go anywhere? I don't think it goes anywhere, does it? No. So I think we now actually actually we actually have to bridge over. Let's just see what we got. So, I don't even, I honestly don't even know if we have to cross this bridge here because we're already pretty close. 
But hey, we're only about 400 blocks off, so that's not too bad. Okay, so let's try to see if we can get to this spot here. Um, so it's the finish line. <laughs> All right, uh, we got to fly back because I did a lot of a... Uh, there we go. So, trying to see if I can get this path down. So we go this way, then we are this way, this way, go around here, go around here. Um, lost it. Is it this way? Is it this way? And then you go across this bridge, and then you drop down from here. Okay. Not terribly crazy. Alright boys, well, I think there's only one thing left to do, and that's to get started, so... Uh, what do we start with? Well, here's what we will need to do. We need to take all this off. I know, it's very scary, but we need to take off... Actually, here's what we need to do. We need, we need to uh, defeat one of the shulkers, because I don't want to deal with two. Um... Kind of an annoying platform they're on, so let's see if we can just kind of do a little sneaky, do a little sneaky. Hey, what's up? All right, took care of one. We're fine. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run away. Run away. Okay, but they're they're gonna come after me, but it's all right. Um, no, oh, well, I didn't really want him to do that, but that's okay. Uh, what? <sighs> you know, sometimes the things that you just have to do. Anyways, okay, so once we took out one of the shulkers there, it wasn't too bad. Ow. Um, then what we want to do is here, let's just go ahead and put the ender chest in here. And we'll put the elytra away. Uh, kind of scared for my life about this armor here. We're gonna, you know, take it off and replace it with some weird stuff. So let's just do this. Instant health, just in case. Let's just, you know, I'm I'm scared. I'm scared for my life with this armor here. Don't don't hurt my armor. Uh, okay. I think also might need from this um, chest. I don't think so. I think we'll take the sword away uh okay that should be all right so let's go ahead break you put you in there uh, okay so we have that one over there and this one here okay cool so let's go ahead um get you like this make sure we got some invis pots on me and we'll also get a, our boat our first boat okay Trying to see what we, how we want to do this. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff at stake, I guess. Um, healing pots. I don't know, just in case. Okay. So, go ahead, take that. Now we want to do is drink the invis. Now we are invisible. I think the shield's okay. It's okay to have the shield, but. Hello. Hello. Yep, the shulker does not see me at the moment. Which is good. I didn't want him to. Uh, okay. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to do a little bit of stuff here. Let's just do this. So let's see if we can try to... Um, do this. Okay, all right, that's good. Uh, okay, so now what we do, place the boat, whoop, and push it, get it, ah, come on, yes, there we are. So now we do, we get in with him, come on, all right, we should be good. Now, it is weird. Like, he fires, but it doesn't show up. I don't go. I never really understood this part. 
I'll go ahead uh, just in case I have ender pearls, water buckets, anything to keep myself. I don't know. At this point, I think he does see me, but I think if I just. There we go. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, we're off. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Um, and it's definitely a scary thing to do this. I mean, come on. I mean, I don't know what you expected. This wasn't going to be a fun, um, non-stressful time. Maybe I should have... Oh, hello. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't really know. Like, shulkers and boats kind of are weird. <laughs> I don't know what they shoot at. Okay, so here's the first, uh, this is like the first and only little tricky thing. So if we just, should be all right if we just stay on this one block. Extremely, f um, yeah, extremely fun. This is nice, you know. This is a really cool moment. I'm glad I'm doing this right now. Oh gosh. Why can't I get a perfect angle? I don't know. All right, anyways, we should be good now. So I think the magical adventure begins. We've made it to the first finish line thing over there. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get out of the boat now. Uh, the enderman might get in the boat. Okay, good. He didn't. Um, an enderman might get in the boat, and I'll just have to kill him. But that's okay. So it looks like now I'm going to have to uh, just build across uh, to the other islands over there because. Um, we don't have enough material for it, so. And plus, we don't have to go in the Z direction anymore, so. Um, that's good, at least, so. We'll just have to keep on going. for myself all right so now we got to mine a bunch of blocks here okay got mine a good amount you know what it actually might be it's not a too bad of idea because uh the sand gates are kind of on level it's pretty close to the ground i really appreciate it actually a, a close to the ground end gate is actually amazing it's really useful because it's just going to make it so much easier to get the shulker to actually kind of pop them up uh, into um, into that. So let's go ahead finish up this bridge here. Uh, I kind of forget what exactly needs to be done when you get to here, so I think we'll just do this and then we'll leave it for now. But. Uh, that's pretty much it. We'll get a few more invit pots with us. We'll leave behind. We'll leave some of this stuff here. Don't, you know, just in case I inevitably die, I will literally not lose too much. So I'll leave the pickaxe, the pistons. I'll keep giving me the chicken, the shield, and your chest. I don't know. Buckets? Why not? Come with me, buckets. Uh, I'll actually put some levers down. So uh, never. Lever. 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 Well, I don't have enough, so I'm going to have to take this one. Cool. And we'll head back in. <sighs> Hold on, folks. We're going to be here for a bit. I knew this would happen at some point. Of course, it's when I don't bring anything. Okay, punch the enderman to death. We're good to go. Get in the boat. Here we go. Just in 
Okay, so we'll get this guy stuck down here. Alrighty, boys, we're on the way. After eat some chicken first. Again, the boat. I have to kill it again, but this time I actually do have a sword in here. Yep, there you guys. Okay, whatever. It's fun. Okay, so here's what we'll do: we'll break all this, and now we begin the process of getting it in here, which I actually don't understand and need to quickly look up. So here's what we're gonna do: first, we're gonna re-invis, grab a few more blocks. Blocks are important to get this done. Of course, I don't know what you thought. But uh, you thought wrong. So here's what we need to do. We need to get the, kind of the same kind of piston thing going up here. Um, I don't think it matters. I think we'll go ahead and do a bit of this, even though I don't think it matters. I think it'll, this is fine here. Here we'll go and do a bit of this. Okay. So we'll do the same kind of pistony thing. So piston here. Um, and do the same thing here. Like that, okay. And then once we're ready, well actually we'll do that afterwards. So for now, I think we're just gonna have to kill this dude again. Love doing that. All right, get in. All right, let's go, boy. Up here. Um, I, actually, I didn't think this through. We need to turn around. Turn around. Like so. Push up. Push up. Now, you want to be semi-off. You don't want to be perfectly lined up with the red rock. You want to be off to the bit. I think right around here is fine. Uh, maybe, oh, I was gonna, uh, maybe push him in a little bit more. Oh, oh, oh. This should be all right. Um, okay, so, now what we're gonna do is line up the piston. Okay, what you wanna do is get some blocks. Get more blocks, because blocks are the key fundamentals of life. You want to do some simple stuff Push him with a block, indirectly. Okay. Oh, and he's through. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. It's the wildest thing I've ever done. All right, we're good. Here's what we gotta do. Get everything. Uh, now I don't, I think he should spawn in the default room with you know the obsidian and all that that's what i think should happen uh we'll just have to find out won't we uh hand me a pearl here okay uh should miss anything else here all right head on all right let's make sure i'm in invis still all right head on in oh okay cool he's here uh, so now what we want to do is do a little bit more preparation for uh, this next step is coming up. So we have uh, a lot of stuff here. Big, big, uh, big staircase. So we got to edit this a bit temporarily. Actually, wait. Do we even need to put it here? What if we just put it? No, we need to do it this. We need to do this. All right, so here we are, destination portal. Now you think it'd be easy to just you know push the push them in, you know, just uh, right in the portal. Nope, that's not how that works. Um, because it, it wouldn't be it'd be too easy if that's how it worked. So 
the moment you push the uh, push the boat into the uh, end little portal there, it'll just stay there. It won't actually teleport because it's weird how that works. Um, but you can't just break the boat because he'll teleport. So you need to do is set up some kind of system. I think I have it on me. Uh, it would be in um, the ender chest. Uh, let's try in there. In here. Yep. Okay. So shulker. In inner chest. Inner chest. In shulker. Awesome. Okay. So we have torches. So I think what we want to do is break these. Break these torches here first. Don't want them. And we want to place torches kind of all around this area. So when... I do break the boat, I want him to teleport onto here and not like anywhere here, because that wouldn't work. All right, let's see if we can get it to work. Alrighty, boys, so here's what you do. First you eat, food's good for you, uh, but what you specifically want to do is you want to place torches. Um, here's, uh, let me, let me, let me, let me. You want to do it like this. So you want to place torches like this, and then one on top. That way he won't spawn on it. And then you want to take redstone. And once you surround redstone all over the area. And I forget what it is. I think it should be like a eight by eight radius. Cause like, here's the thing. Here's what we could do here. We could do this, do a little bit of this. Do a little bit. You can actually sit. Yeah, this is kind of great. Um, oh, there we are. Ooh. Now he's chilling. So now what we could do is I assume we just want a eight radius. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just a line of redstone, all like this. As these are all, so this will no longer become blocks that the shulker can stand on when you do that. So this is he's here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alrighty then, so just go ahead, get a little bit more redstone here, put it all around. Don't let him go anywhere else. It might be a lot of redstone, but it is worth it. So you know he won't teleport somewhere weird. That should be alright. Alright. So I don't think you can actually break the boat like this. You can no longer break the boat. Yeah, so you need to actually um, get yourself a bow, which is in here. Okay, you just want to break the boat. Just do a little bro boat breaking. There we are. Look at him. Just chilling. Right there. Perfect. Okay. So here's the final steps here. Get a block. Get a piston. Nope. Want a piston like this. Nope. Ah, <sighs> uh, here. Um. Put. Do this. And then we could do this. Break it. Then put it like this. Nope. Do it the way I'm facing. There we are. Down. Finally, lever. Push. And there he goes. That, my little friends, should be it for the end. I know we've been here so long. I feel like I've. I can. I can feel the end. Uh, you know the end smoke. It's like when you've been in like in the perfume too long, you're used to the smell of the perfume, even though you know it is gut-wrenching. Gut-wrenching. 
So. So now we will just collect all of our belongings. We do not need that anymore. When we go into the portal and go to spawn, he should spawn around like a 16 block radius of spawn somewhere. Just kind of anywhere. Kind of like the dragon egg. Because when we um, collected the dragon egg after... Uh, we put it back at spawn, someone right clicked it, and it kind of, we, we were like, where did it go? It's lost. And then it was stuck in a tree. We are like, oh, there it is. <laughs> so it was a pretty good meme. Um, okay. Very cool. So now what you should do is you break this, you break this, you break that. All right, that all goes in the end. Let's be like that sometimes. All right, so we'll go ahead and put you way we'll get some more invis potions just in case uh should be good though so break you put you there and your chest in here break you put torches here because why not makes it look pretty and we're off oh there he is what are you doing up there Oh, oh yeah, going to the, uh, I forgot, I was like, why is he seeing me? Okay, yeah, so going to, going through the portal actually gets rid of your potion effects. I did not know that. Okay, so hopefully, cool, he is no longer uh, mad at us. All right, let's get more boats. Okay. Oh, and there's all my stuff. <laughs> let's go get it. Uh... Um, also, when did I get another rack? You know, I'm not actually too sure. Okay. Well, now we just need to get him in our boat again, so we just gotta do a bit of pillar pillaring. I don't think he should see me. Alright, boat, boat time! Yeah! And now, we ride. That was a very exciting ride, but you know what? It's whatever. All right, boys, it's time to break the news. So I, after a lot of looking up, um, looking up stuff, I haven't found a way that shulkers can be teleported to the nether. Um, first off, I looked up videos of, I haven't even, like, seen, like, a shulker in the nether, like, at all. Like, I looked up a video, like, I looked in YouTube, I was like, YouTube, shulkers, nether, and, like, zero options came up, and I was like, okay, so this, is this just not something people do? Or is this, like, something that just does, flat out doesn't exist, and everyone knows that? So, yeah, I'm not too sure, so, but I think it's safe to say that I won't be able to do my original plan of, I mean, going to that one um, temple, that monument. Even though it is a nice temp uh, temple, it's so far away, I don't think it'd be worth it. Um, also, I don't know what happens in the overworld, but I think it changes like how the Shulker sees me. I put my armor back on, which obviously uh, completely sees me now, but like even before then, he was still seeing me without my armor, I was losing health, so I was like, okay, we're gonna have to fix that. Um, so yeah, his thing is, is, his stuff does, you know, like, no health, so it's alright in the end, but still, it's a little annoying. What do you think? I think I'm just gonna have to break all this. There we are. Do it this. Okay. So what what's the next step? Well we're just gonna use uh, the one next to Alex's space. Um I didn't want to, because I know it it might be close to him. You won't wanna need it, but I gotta ha I gotta. You know, it's just like I gotta. Oh, hello. Why is there like a hole there? I'm a little concerned, actually. Huh. 
<sighs> Alright, that was like the worst thing ever. I hate this so much. Oh my gosh, alright. Let's just collect all this and we'll fix the we'll fix it. Alright. There we go. Whew. Odd, but all right. So we need to head to. We need to Alex Space. All right. How do we get? Well, I know how we get there. I'm just like thinking, what's what's a good path to take? Like, like, hang on. Like, I wanna. Hmm. I want to see something here. Can we like? Give me you. Um, uh, it's in here. Yeah, so. Just hand me you for a sec. And I just want to. I don't have much durability left. I know I don't, but. Okay. So I'll leave you for a sec. Just checking out what to do. What's the sitch? So, can we just follow this lake out? No. I really just want to be able to, like, use a lake or something to... Or a river or an ocean to get where do I need to be. But it doesn't look like that's the case. So... When does the ocean start? Because I know once I get to the ocean... I'm all fine and dandy. Is this the ocean here? Yeah, this is the ocean. So can I get to it any other way? I think through the river, maybe? All right, I don't have much time, so I'll, I'll try to see if I can track down this river, which is here-ish, then goes to here, and then stops. Okay, so we need to get to there. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we'll figure it out. First off, what is this terrible thing that's, like, going to make it possible? Alright, boys. I'm going to embark on an insane adventure. I'll see you in a bit. It's been a bit, <laughs> a bit's an understatement, that's for sure, but where's, do I have no food? <laughs> I don't have food, I need to go get more food, and my elytra's dying. I'll be right back. Alright, so, ah, uh, there it is, okay, I didn't know where it was exactly, so, I could keep going, but I've had enough, that's basically what I'm uh, calling it, um, you know, I wonder, I wonder if, uh, Alex would let me borrow some food of his. Oh, whoops, I accidentally spawned a raid. <laughs> oh, gosh, dang it, it's gonna have bad omen. I hate life sometimes, you know? Alright. Quick, where's food? Help me. Oh, uh, carrots. Okay. 
Well, the good thing about Alex's house is that he actually has a lot of, um... He can't... No, no raider can actually even get here. Oh, gosh. Guys, I don't have time for this. All right, so we are done with that. Oh, okay. <coughs> All right, a little sidetrack. Um, jeez. Thanks. Um, <laughs> jeez. Okay. Um, so what do we want? What do we need to do now? Um, I'm gonna need to borrow some blocks. Okay, so piston here. It'll push us up. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if shulkers and guardians hate each other. See, here's the thing. Guardians do not take kindly to other things being near their monument. Let's go test it out. If I head on to a... If I head to this world where I've been testing this um, achievement a bit, on what's the correct way to get it. Um, you see if it's using Elder Guardians and stuff, but if I do a slash locate monument, let's go ahead and teleport. Okay, then you want to, I'll just go ahead and get a shulker. I, think, I don't even know if they like water. Okay, they do like water. Now do, you guys hate them? If I just Put them everywhere. Oh. Sure, yeah. This works. What do you guys think? If I just start putting them everywhere. You guys are fine? Okay, eventually they'd actually start drowning. And since they have no, nowhere to teleport to, I think they'd start, yeah. So they'd immediately start teleporting onto here. Okay, good to know. Good to know. All right, boys. We just grabbed um, all the stuff from the old monument. The one I thought I was gonna do first, but then realized it was just gonna be too much to work. Even though I have already, I've been working on this for so many hours now, I don't really know. Um, it's just been such a long uh, task. But hey, it's worth it, I guess, right? Well, I was being saved to my uh, terabyte hard drive and not my other one, because I'd pr it'd probably be full at this point. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been... I don't even know how long it's been anymore. I've run out of everything. It's been, been grasping at straws here. <sighs> but you should have everything. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what that means anymore. What does it mean to have everything? You're ready to go? I don't know. Um, but you should have mostly everything set up. There's a few things we're missing. Uh, particularly the dolphin. But I mean, I am in an ocean biome, so I can't get a dolphin. You know, it won't take too, too long. Uh, there it is. Thank you for your contribute contribution okay now we should have everything my gosh I'm going to end something okay all right let's go what I don't have everything I'm gonna end it 
No, I'm not actually gonna end it. It's just, it's just been five hours of work. I knew that I have to get it done eventually, but it is a lot of freaking work. <sighs> okay. Can you stop? I think I'm gonna have to, gonna have to like put a block up so these things stop it. Like stop this. Stop trying to touch me. I swear. Okay. I'll keep doing it. I'm glad the shulker's just having a good time. You know, he's just chilling out. All right, beacon. Okay. Um. All right. So we just need to set everything up now. Two hours later. Hello everyone, it's me. I'm back. It's been uh, who knows how long. It's like I'm writing down a journal entry when I'm stuck on a deserted island. Well, that's what it feels like right now. I've kind of cut out a lot of progress, or because I just it's it was just so tedious because I had to kept keep going back and forth and keep getting more milk buckets because I had to break stuff in order to build it, but I can't break anything. But this mining fatigue, I just had to get so much garbage. But let me update you with uh, what's going on here. I just now, this was just happened, I got a dolphin, because it was raining, I got a dolphin to sit here on the surface, so they wouldn't, uh, you know, suffocate, and I hopped him in to uh, this little one by one. So when I am in there, I will uh, get dolphins, uh, the dolphin's grace. Um, I also have a glowing arrow in here. Um, I'll, turn up, I'll turn down the game sound a bit. I got uh, the conduit set up. I built it over here so that it would not see, like, it's killing the guardian right now. I did it there so it would not kill the elder guardian, which is right below me. Right down there. Um, but I set up the conduit. Uh, I had to, I was first going to build it right below me. That was like, no, no, no. No, it's not good. Uh, what else? Potion effects. So here's the potion effects. Looking good there. Um, I'm basically just following... The guide I had, okay, so there's a sticky piston, I remember that. I don't think I have a line ball. I hate myself. <laughs> it's just been back and forth between me flying to my base and coming back, because I just, I always know I'm going to forget something. It's just so bad. Uh, I was going to give the dolphin a name tag, so that they wouldn't, like, Despawn. Yeah, let's go do that real quick, actually. I'm worried for my sanity's sake. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, now, problem is I... Come on. Gotcha. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to... I get a name tag on you. Oh, can I fit you there? Yeah, okay, cool. So, won't spawn anymore. Alright. Um, and I have no idea why, but I'm excited to get, well, I mean, of course I'm excited to get this out of the way, but I feel like this is going to be a, a, a weight lift out of my shoulders when I've never, I never said this was going to be a burden for me to do. I don't know. I wonder if uh, Alex has any slime balls to donate. Because I actually know that I have... Um... Yeah, no, he's got nothing. Well, I could head to uh, a swamp biome. <sighs> 
And this is gonna break. Man, everything's just going crazy. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Just gonna have to figure it out, I think. Alright, we have enough to head on back, so let's quickly get myself a slime. I don't know why I'm recording this part, the part where I just run and get a slime ball. I don't, I don't know. I rec My brain works weirdly, you know? I skip out on stuff that I feel like would be boring, but I, I, I record when I do stuff like this. It just, it does, I don't know. I don't know how I work. All I know is, fish, give me a slime. And we can all be happy. We can move on. You know. I can get this achievement out of the way. Hey, little tiny slime me. Your sacrifice will not go in vain, Mr. Slime. I will put it to good use. Alright, head on back. Quickly before this breaks. <laughs> yeah, big one. Uh, I don't need it. Even though I have a slime shop, I should, I mean, uh, part of the, the zoo, I don't got time for that. I got time for other stuff. Oh, it's gone. I'm so sorry, Elytra. I truly, uh, put you to... Not the best use, but hey, I freaking used you up, so. Alright, let's get this going. Oh my gosh, I'm, um, so done. Alright, conduit power, kick it into gear. Very nice. Should have got more milk while I was at my base. It's alright. We shouldn't need to really do anything else. Other than we might need to... Oh, what? What? I... I don't know. I wish I knew, but I don't. Oh, God, dolphin! Why? Why did the dolphin die? Oh my gosh. I don't know about you. So close. Oh yeah, so I need to turn this on. Dang it, it just, it just did night vision. I'm not having a good day right now. That's for sure. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. Why did the dolphin die? Uh, pain is all I feel. It's just pain. Alright. What do we have to do? What more do we have to do? The wither rose is going to head on this uh, dirt block here. And I could just barely get onto it. I think. Actually, I don't think I can with the way this is positioned. So I need to fix this. But I can't because I have no bilk. I just not. I'm not. I'm just out. Oh, my elytra. I need to get one of the ones I got from the end. Alright. This works. Gosh, what am I doing? I feel like I'm just uh, going crazy. And at some point, I should go to bed, and I oh gosh, what is going on with me? Oh. Okay. So, I think 
what we should do is make a checklist. A final checklist of everything we need. We need to go get a freaking night vision potion again because it released it. Um, okay. So. What's up? All right, so. Let's take you out right now and let's get the redstone torch on. Thanks for that. All right. Cool. Redstone circuitry should be up and working. You should be up and you should you should both be up. I'm trying to make sure what happened here. It looks fine to me. I don't know why the dolphin died. I really don't know. All right. So yeah, so here's the thing, right? The current guy's position in the boat. I don't think he can do much. I think we need to switch him out with a minecart. Because uh, the minecart's a little tighter. Um, sure, was an easier way to get out of here. Break you. Okay. Oh, whoops. Okay, then we do that, and that, and out. Now, I don't. Re I guess when the shulkers in the minecart, I won't be able to move around, but I was like, hey, I can move around there. Okay. Um, okay, we gotta think. What is last? I think that is honestly everything. My goodness, I've had a long day. Um, but, you know, it's, it's gonna be, you know, pretty, pretty worth. You know? I hope. And you know, won't be the end of the world if we screw it up. But I'll try my dang hardest not to screw this up. Um, I've done a, I'm, I'm gonna do like a hundred like trials like on like a, another map just so I get it right. <sighs> okay, so we have the potion effects. We have the food. We have the food there. We have the items. Locked and loaded. And then we just need a dolphin. Get the shulker where it needs to be. And then we'll be ready to go. <sighs> it's been quite the trip, I'll admit. I didn't expect to get it all done, you know, like this, but it's definitely been quite a, a journey, so I'm happy about it. And sometimes, my friends, it truly is about the journey and not the destination, because that is it. The last bit of footage I have. I showed you as much as I could, and I showed all that I could, till the very end, and that is where it ends. So, in the end, the achievement could never be done on Link SMP, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Because the server just got too uh, inactive for people to stay on it, if so the season ended. Uh, but it is truly an amazing journey that I had about over a span of six hours. Um, and I had a lot of fun. And yes, I, in the end, I did actually end up getting the achievement. Not on the server, because I knew it, but I did end up uh, going out and trying this setup that I was trying on the SMP and I did end up getting the achievement so yeah, there's something about it you know something nice something something interesting about something meaningful and symbolic about what we went on today and if you enjoy what you watched and you are really at this point holy crap you went through all this man props to you my friend um, 
please let me know if you enjoyed this by leaving a like down below and supporting your uh, supporting me comments all that stuff We're greatly appreciated as far as the future goes like i said you'll just have to wait and see we got borderlands all kinds of fun stuff minecraft some chatting it's just some good old fun clean fun this is for the clean fell it works out anyways boys hope y'all had a great day and i will catch y'all next time peace